Hello everyone, welcome back again to the course Comprehensive Slope Stability Analysis using Plaxis 2D. This is tutorial number 11, Slope Stability Analysis of Multi-Layered Soil using Plaxis 2D. So as you can see in this figure, we have a slope geometry, uh, which consists of uh, three different soil layers. Uh, from uh, dense sand at bottom and medium dense sand in the middle and also a uh, soft clay yeah, at uh, the top. Also we have a surcharge lot which is uh, 15 kN per uh, square meter and the slope is two horizontal one vertical and these are the dimensions of the soil uh, geometry and in uh, this uh, in this uh, tutorial, uh, we will uh, understand how can we define uh, these uh, three soil layers uh, slope with using uh, boreholes. And also we will define the materials using Mohr column model for these uh, three soil layers. And as a previous lecture, we will estimate the factor of safety and identify the critical failure surface for this slope and also in this example we will uh, draw a deformation versus a safety factor so it means we will have a curve so in plexus we have uh, this uh, option we can draw a displacement versus safety factor at any location so we will do at the tree of the slope which is most critical uh, failure point of the slope. So I will uh, copy the title of uh, this uh, lecture and I will open the Plaxis software. And uh, we start new project and I paste the title in here. And in the model, as you can see, the uh, length of our geometry is uh, 55 meters in x direction so we let x minimum as 0 and uh, uh, x max as uh, 55 and y minimum is 0 also and y maximum maximum depth we have uh, 25 uh, meters so uh, this is uh, 25 uh, meter and we click ok so uh, as you can see we have uh, three soil layers so we will need uh, four boreholes in this example one at here at the start of the geometry and one borehole at the toy of the slope and one borehole at this uh, point uh, at which uh, there are two soil layers, silty and medium denser, and also one borehole at the crest of the slope. So we will uh, draw our first uh, borehole. As you can see, like this one, we uh, we created the geometry of the slope. Actually, maybe some of you uh, don't like uh, creating the geometry like this one actually you can also go to the uh, create uh, go to the structure um, mode and uh, generate or create the the this geometry using just a uh, soil uh, polygon maybe it will be more easy for you okay so after uh, creating the geometry of the slope we now uh, start defining the soil material for uh, each uh, soil layer okay as we can see there's a deformation and safety factor in y direction and uh, the factor of safety increases up to 1.5 as the deformation increases and uh, after that it drops uh, to about uh, 1.41 and uh, it remains uh, constant after that so uh, this is the safety factor curve uh, versus a deformation at a specific point uh, for a slope sometimes maybe this uh, maybe you can get only until uh, something uh, like here at this location or this one you uh, you you maybe you don't get these uh, constant lines so in this case maybe in safety analysis click on edit phase 
and uh, in here we have uh, something called uh, macros uh, steps uh, sorry in here we have uh, something called uh, macros uh, steps uh, in our example it's 100 so if uh, if you get uh, this uh, curve not uh, very good or you couldn't see this uh, constant line you can increase uh, this uh, 100 to maybe 150 or 200 or sometimes you get a uh, warning code and it says uh, uh, insufficient uh, insufficient uh, uh, steps or maybe uh, it says uh, the accuracy uh, is not uh, found so in this case you can increase uh, the number of markers uh, steps so uh, this was uh, for this uh, lecture i hope uh, it was clear and useful thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial